Welcome to a new movie about our CSOC solutions. My name is Martin Koller and I am the Global Product Manager of our Maritime Technologies. In this short video, I want to give you some insights into one of our efforts to help decarbonizing the shipping industry. Andrit is a company which is active in carbon capture technologies since nearly 15 years. We installed Amin scrubbers on land in different industries and participated in numerous national and international research projects for all kinds of carbon capture technologies. For instance, we have operated different scrubbers using amine solutions as absorbent from 2008 till 2015. The deep understanding of know-how in this special field gives us the opportunity to choose the right technology for shipping decarbonization. Therefore, we have explicitly excluded the amine scrubbing technology for these options. This has some reasons. The footprint of amine scrubbers is large. The complexity of the system is an issue. You bring chemicals, more or less dangerous, on board. And the heat and cooling demand is also high. In addition, the optimal operating point is at high CO2 removal rates, around 90%, which is much higher than targeted by the International Maritime Organization. A high CO2 removal rate is a good thing, but brings other problems. Every ton of burnt fuel produces around three tons of CO2, and if approximately 90% of its CO2 is captured, you need to store more CO2 on the vessel than your bunkered fuel. Therefore, this additional weight will also lead to reduced cargo load, and this will again increase the operating costs. Additionally, as Andritz is also a scrubber supplier for sulfur removal on ships, we know what it means to install large equipment on a vessel. All these reasons led us to the decision to favor another technology for carbon capture on ships. We looked for a solution with a low footprint, low complexity, moderate costs, low power and cooling demand and no chemicals. Our choice was to use membranes, which are designed to capture about 40 to 60% of the CO2. Although this capture rate could easily be increased, we don't see it beneficial to maximize the CO2 removal rate to to the known reasons explained before. For this membrane solution, we cooperate with a partner who is one of the technology leaders worldwide. But what is a membrane and how does it work? Process-wise, it's not a complicated technology. You can visualize it as a CO2 filter. The cooled exhaust gas enters the filter, the CO2 can pass the membrane and the CO2 lean off gas leaves the membrane module into the atmosphere. To overcome the pressure loss of the system, you can use a blower, a vacuum pump on the outlet of the membrane or both. It is also possible to use sweep gas to accelerate the transmission of the CO2 through the membrane. You see, the process itself is not complicated, but the devil is in the details, like always. The membrane is the core part of the whole plant and the design and the chemical and physical behavior of it defines the performance, the power consumption and the cost of the plant. Also, the purity of the produced CO2 is directly related to the membrane. If the CO2 is stored at the vessel or used for any other purposes, the purity is an important factor. Depending on the future use of the CO2, Andritz will design the whole process in accordance with the special needs of the clients. Up to now, there are no standardized or well-established solutions available in the maritime industry. But Andritz is at the forefront for developing solutions for the upcoming challenges, like we also did already for particulate removal at chips with our CSOX filtration technology. In addition, we currently develop a carbon capture demonstration unit, which will be installed this year on a vessel. If you're interested to learn more about your opportunities to be also at the forefront of decarbonization technologies, just contact us. Hope to hear you soon and also have a look at our other short movies to be informed about Andritz products for the maritime industry.